Hello, good morning. Good morning, good evening to everybody all around the world and in New Zealand. And how does it get better than this? Welcome to expanding your being and pulling in the energies of what you would like to create with your life. And I called this one this morning, What Energy Can I Be? And it's the full question is, what energy can I be today that will create more than I've ever thought was possible or that will create my life? What energy can I be? So we're talking a lot about energies, aren't we? We're talking about listening to the energies, being aware of energies. So are you ready to drop your barriers? No, your brain needs to go down deep into the earth. Deep, 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 deep. Right down past the Waitama Caves. Right down deep into the core of the earth. And ask for all those nurturing energies and the joyful energies to come up into your body. Let's create communion with the earth. All those energies up through your body and notice every part of your body as you pull those energies up through your feet and your toes, all the bones and your feet and your ankles and your shin bones and your knees and your thighs and up through those lovely parts which we call our private parts right up through our body. And through all the organs of our bodies, so our digestive systems and all those different systems, electrical systems and nervous systems and our blood systems, our heart and our lungs, through our throats and up into our mouth. Teeth and gums and right up through our sinuses and our noses and our eyes and our ears, our hair. Ask for everything to go to its infinite capacity of function and have gratitude for every part of our bodies. Let's have gratitude. Mm. And then pull that energy right out of our head. And then sprinkle gold dust all over our bodies. And now start to expand your awareness. Wide out, past the country that you live in. Keep dropping your barriers, stay connected with your body, and keep expanding your awareness or your being and your being. The being is where you be. Keep expanding. Right out past the country that you live in and keep on going in all directions. It's 100,000 kilometers, 300,000 kilometers. Keep on expanding right out in all directions. Keep on going until you can't go anymore and then what are you going to do? more keep on going so is any of you practicing doing this when we're not doing the zoom just 
think about it every now and then through the day and just keep expanding your being. What this does is it really does stop you making anything significant. It just gives you light. It's the lightness that's going to create the new and linking life for us. And we don't know yet what it is we're creating, but we are creating our futures. And we're asking for different energies. We're asking to be an energy that can create more. It will create a reality beyond this reality. It will create lots of fun. What energy can I be that will create more than I ever thought was possible? So start creating a connection with everything and everyone. This is creating communion. With every molecule on the planet in the universe. What if this could create more ease, joy, and glory than you ever thought was possible? Asking for those energies to come through into your body and into your reality and into your universe and into your life. So if you're asking for clarity in your, in your life, really, just keep asking, what would I like my life to be? What would I truly desire as my life? One of the things you can do is start to notice the things around you that are fun for you, or when you see someone else is doing it, you know, if you see someone has a talent and ability that you would like, ask for that. And one of the questions you can ask is, what would it take to have a phenomenal life? No one's ever suggested to us that we ask for a phenomenal life. What is a phenomenal life? We don't even have to know what that is. But we do know that the life that we're living right now is not enough for us. We want more. And actually a question that Gary gave to me which I am going to give to you because I think this has been a real contribution to me as well as asking what capacities do I have that I haven't chosen? Just ask it and they'll start to show up. What capacities do I have that I haven't chosen? And lots of different capacities are starting to show up. And the other thing that, because I said to my life's not big enough, and he said, start asking to have so much going on in your life that you can't handle it all. Now that's a little bit scary, but actually it's exciting. What would it take to have so much going on in our lives that we can't handle it all? And then, of course, we bring the people to help us. What would it take to have so much going on in our lives that we can't handle it all? So we're still pulling energies from everywhere and everything. So ask for that to double and triple and quadruple and keep on doubling and doubling and doubling. Double that a hundred thousand times in the million time. All the expectations, any projections, expectations, separations, agreements and rejections and judgments that we're putting on our lives, would you just run and create those? It's like, oh, I'm good with it, but I'm not sure it's being used. And let's just run and create all those projections and expectations and separations and agreements and rejections and judgments and conclusions that we put on each other. Just run and create all those. And that we're putting on ourselves. So all those projections, expectations, separations, agreements, projections, judgments, and conclusions we're putting on ourselves. 
just trying to create my vibes about my goodness, how about in my short times. And all the judgments that we have of ourselves, would you evoke the campus and clean them out tonight to stream and clear those eyes, please? Times are gazillion, right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And let's pull the reality of infinite possibilities and pull the energies of infinite possibilities. And I reckon we should keep on asking for ease, joy, and glory. Let's keep pulling those energies of ease, joy, and glory from everywhere, from a million miles out and a million godzillion times a million out. Pull energies from all of those energies. Keep on expanding your awareness and your being and be the space. Be space. What will this create that we don't even know? And has anybody got any questions they want to just ask? Any questions? Okay, I'll just finish the recording.